about a month ago, I came into the office and there were folks here with flowers. And actually then I recognized Jill Lederer. And uh, they informed us that we'd been nominated and won Nonprofit of the Year. I was blown away. It was an exciting time, uh, considering I've only been here for a number of months, and but Senior Concerns has been around for 37 years. There's nothing like it in Ventura County. We have levels of care that people, I think 10 years ago, most of them would have been in skilled nursing facilities. We deal with behaviors that people get sent here for because of the way we deal with very difficult behavior um, and the way we treat the families. First of all, the people are wonderful. They feed us wonderful food. They cater to me because I'm a diabetic, which is very nice. And they treat us like queens. I think this award speaks to the tipping point that's happening in the community right now. Baby boomers are aging. They're dealing with their aging parents. We're all recognizing that there are a tremendous amount of challenges in getting older these days. The hardest thing is really accepting that something has changed and you need to step in and in a loving way, not taking over. That's, that's the most difficult thing. If anyone's ever been a full-time caregiver, you have no idea of the stress uh, and the pain of seeing your loved one uh, go through a disease like Alzheimer's. You need a break and um, just to provide that for me saved my life. Senior Concerns is the organization in the Conejo Valley that truly, all the way to Agor Hills and Calabasas, that truly does support the senior community and family caregivers. We do that by care support, i.e. adult daycare that we do every day. We offer support groups, online chats, one-on-one -on -one chats with seniors. We offer guidance for folks either through our pro bono legal or financial services as well as our care management services. And what's very important to us is to educate the community. I feel the most important part of the job is educating the seniors as to what's out there for them, what they need to look out for, etc. I'm honored to be working with fantastic employees. I, I never met a group of folks that so embody what it means to give of themselves. On any given day, somebody else's crisis walks into my office and said, this, this, and this happened. And after about half an hour of tears and sobbing, they walk out thinking I've got the problem resolved. And there's lots of hugs here every day. That's what we're here for. I love my job. Love it. Retirees who help us at our reception desk, to the uh, nurses who come in and help give help to our adult day center. Such a range from 13 to 103. Initially when I volunteered with Meals on Wheels, I, I thought I was doing it to help other people. And very quickly I realized that I benefit more than any of the seniors do working th with senior concerns. We have volunteers who are in high school and are looking to gain work experience. We have fantastic volunteers who help us with our fundraising efforts and work on the love run and our ultimate dining experience. You know, why Senior Concerns is so important is this was my mom's life and it's my life. My mom was a human being and I'm a human being. I'm not a number, I'm not an Alzheimer's disease, I'm not a caregiver, I'm a human being and a loving human being and everyone deserves that. Without Senior Concerns, um, I mean that's a horrifying thought to me that other people wouldn't have access to senior concerns and the resources that they offer, the care that they offer, it, it would be devastating for thousands of families. My mother wouldn't have had the quality of life she did without senior concerns. I love this place. If we can think in advance about the types of things, both the possibilities and the probabilities that might happen in our future, we have an opportunity to experience positive aging.